A little to the northeast of the rapidly developing city of Malabe, alongside Chandrika Kumar Tungamavata, there's a patchwork of paddy fields and wetlands of approximately 20 hectares. Though heavy rain regularly inundates the land in floods, the neighborhood is of high commercial value and readily available land for development can rarely be found on this stretch of Colombo. Soon, this underutilized space is expected to be home to a colossal structure, the crown jewel of the LRT, the depot of the Colombo light rail system. The depot will consist of stabling tracks, test tracks, heavy maintenance sheds, breakdown maintenance sheds, wheel reprofiling and light maintenance sheds, administrative buildings, training centers, the operation and control center, a wastewater treatment plant and many other facilities. This depot will rest on an elevated structure supported on a field of pillars. The elevation will serve the pragmatic purpose of preserving the flood retention capacity of the wetland, ensuring the low-lying area is not filled in. This environmentally conscious measure will control exacerbation of flood water while protecting the existing biological environment. The green buffer zone, a thick strip of cultivated vegetation comprising of plants such as bamboo, na and kubuk will run the perimeter of the depot. This green belt will then seamlessly merge with the surrounding wilderness. The dense layer of plant cover will provide a noise barrier, reducing the impact of sound pollution, while doing double duty as air purifiers, especially during the operational phase. The vegetation that will be cultivated as part of the LRT plan will directly compensate for the plants that will be removed due to construction. Provisions have been made to ensure that the natural habitat and ecosystems is not only preserved but greatly improved through the introduction of this green belt. The Colombo Light Rail Depot will stand as testament to man's peaceful, symbiotic existence with nature.